Is the golden age of the tech industry finally over? Just a few years ago, it seemed like anybody with passion and a good work ethic could work their way up, learn programming, and end up making six figures doing some kind of basic programming job within just a couple years. But my friends, that may no longer be the case. Let's face it, the tech industry is not doing so hot this year. There have been a lot of layoffs, and unfortunately, there will probably be a lot more. I even have some friends that are graduating from good universities this year that got FANG internships, and they're having trouble finding positions. But, of course, we can't be too pessimistic. Because remember, when one door closes, another one always opens. And we've all seen recently that this is definitely the year for AI. And just like last year, when everybody became obsessed with Web3 and all of these companies pivoted into Web3 and a lot of people were hiring for programmers and engineers in the Web3 space, this year, a similar thing is happening with AI. And I think it's important for us to stay informed. So in this video, I'm going to cover all of the ways that we can take advantage of AI and try and make some money this year. But before I get into that, I want to take a second to mention the sponsor of this video, which is Masterworks. Masterworks is a company that lets you invest in multi-million dollar art but you don't need millions of dollars. Now you might be thinking, why would I invest in art? And to that, I say diversification is definitely extremely important, especially in today's economy. You don't put all your eggs in one basket, just like you don't put all your money into one asset class, because we don't know where the price of everything is going to go. But one thing we do have is the numbers. And last year, art prices rose by 29%. 2022 was the best auction year ever, which had the highest total from the big three auction houses. On average, contemporary art appreciates annually by 13.8%. And last time in Inflation was this high, contemporary art appreciated an average of 20% per year. Masterworks offers paintings from legendary artists like Picasso, Monet, Banksy. The offerings are qualified with the SEC and then they're broken into shares. So you'll invest to own part of the painting and when they sell it, you'll get a slice of the profits. Masterworks last three exits delivered 13, 35, and 10% net returns. They have over 670,000 members and their paintings sometimes sell out in minutes. But if you're interested in this, then they offer you priority access at the link in the description of this video. So go click the link and check it out. Thank you, Masterworks, for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back into AI. All right, so there's a lot of ways you can make money with AI right now. And the first one we're gonna talk about is building AI powered applications. With AI advancing at an unprecedented rate, there's a really high demand right now for innovative applications that leverage the AI technologies coming out to solve real world problems. Whether it's healthcare, or education, or finance, AI is gonna be transforming industries and there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for developers to come in and innovate. And you can make a lot of money with something as simple as going to businesses and building them AI chatbots for their customer service. There are plenty of cool applications you can build and a lot of companies are gonna be pivoting and starting to incorporate AI into their products. It's also a really great opportunity to start an AI software company. Right now, if you start an AI company and it seems promising, there's a pretty good chance you might receive funding. That's because venture capitalists are currently interested in investing in a lot of these emerging AI startups. And while that's one way to make money by building application or building your own company, it's not the only way. So that brings us to the second way you can make money using AI, which is if you're proficient in AI, then you can do consulting or offer services to companies. Whether you wanna be a freelancer or a consultant or an actual employee, companies are gonna be looking for people with AI skills right now. So if you have that skill set, there's gonna be a lot of opportunity. Companies are recruiting heavily and already paying a lot for people with these skills. But if you really have a lot of knowledge, you can bounce around and do different things. Whether that's working with a bunch of companies and strategizing on how they can use AI to help them grow their business, whether it's at a business level or an engineering level, companies are going to be looking for you. If you want to start with consulting, you should create a portfolio and then look around for companies that need help. There's a lot of different freelancing websites where companies are posting looking for help, or you can just look on general websites like LinkedIn or Indeed. It's all just about having that skill set and being able to market yourself. And speaking about skill sets, that brings us to the third way you can make money using AI, which is education. Right now, there's probably more signups than ever on that Coursera Stanford course by Andrew NG. You know, the course that me, you, and everybody else has already taken. The value of AI education this year has skyrocketed and will continue to skyrocket as AI becomes more popular. So if you enjoy teaching, there's a ton of opportunity out there for you right now. You can start teaching like me through internet content like YouTube or TikTok. If you don't like that, maybe you can try something like in-person tutoring, like one-on-one -on -one, or you with like a small group of people. Or you can do something on a larger scale with like large groups of people, like organized big workshops. Whatever you wanna do, there's a ton of opportunity right now. So keep in mind that you can make a lot of money through AI education. 
Now I just touched briefly on how you could use content creation to start educating people, but you could also just do content creation in general. And I know there's a lot of programmers out there that aren't necessarily comfortable socially and they don't wanna show their face to do content creation, but AI is powerful enough now and there's enough tools out there to the point where you can do AI content creation, meaning that you can generate the content using AI. You don't even have to think about the content. You could use AI to generate content ideas, generate the scripts for the content, and then you could use AI software to have the script read in full by an almost human sounding voice. And you can even use AI to generate the visuals like images. There's a ton of really powerful tools out there that are easy to use that make making content easy. There are now people generating substantial income through AI generated content. And in some of this content, they've never even spoken or shown themselves on camera. So, I mean, that is pretty crazy. And I actually plan to do another video expanding on this more because I think it is a really powerful opportunity. And last but not least, I have an honorable mention for the last way that we can use AI to make money right now, which is AI stock trading. I think this is a really complicated thing to start getting into, but it's definitely really interesting as well. The concept makes sense, right? You use AI to analyze financial data, and then you can make more informed decisions. The problem for me is you're always trading against other traders, so you're going to be trading against other big financial firms, which we know have been using machine learning for quite some time. So they're probably gonna be better than you. However, if you're really passionate and really interested, you can learn a lot and who knows, maybe you could be successful at it. At the very least, you learn a lot and acquire a lot of skills and could potentially be hired by one of those firms. But there you have it, guys. Those are a lot of the really big opportunities I see right now in the space of AI. I wanted to make this video because I know there's a lot of people struggling right now, especially with layoffs, and maybe you're having a tough time trying to find a position. And I'm not trying to suggest to you guys to go all in on AI 100%. I know this is the future 100%. I am optimistic about AI, but I just wanted to inform you guys about this because I know there's a lot of people struggling right now, especially with the current job market, whether you got laid off, or you just can't find a position. If you're really struggling, you might wanna look into some of these opportunities out there with AI. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys can think of any other opportunities, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'd also appreciate it if you could follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm trying to grow those accounts as well. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all your support. And yeah, I see some of you guys writing comments who want some coding videos. So I will make sure to do some of those soon. Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.